Oh, well, fuel pump's priming. Yeah, hey, look at that. Uh, still got Twist Leaf Rod Shop shirts for uh, for sale. I'll put a little picture up right here. And uh, you guys should buy one of those. Help me out a little bit. And uh, if you're not subscribed, uh, why not? Click that button. It's free. Don't cost you nothing. Helps me out. So thanks. All right. So <laughs> just took it for the first spin. You'll you'll see that here in a minute. But uh, I'm pretty excited about it. It's it was fun. Uh, some creaks and some pops. But hey, that's no big deal. I can I can I can fix all that. So she's moved. You know she was over there in that other spot. So we'll go over some things on it real quick now that uh, I've got them completed and uh give you guys some information in case you guys want to do a swap similar to this or uh something like that so all right so as you can see from the front here that's how, about how she fits i got the that is the factory c10 core sport also the factory suburban core sports back there you can see factory suburban right there and if you look you can kind of see eh, you really can't see it i cut it right there Right there, I cut the factory uh, C10 course port so that it would fit around all of the stuff that's in there. So, and then the grill, I haven't actually mounted yet. The old zipper holding it in. That's why it's a little bit crooked now. But, uh, but yeah, so I plan on uh, making a steel bumper for this thing, being that it's four-wheel drive and, you know, will be lifted. So, but, I mean, plenty of room there. You know, the factory bumper, about right there anyway. So, I mean, if I had a factory bumper on there, it'd look just fine. Um, let's see over here. So, I just got the heater hoses. These are the suburban heater hoses. I've got them like that for now. Eventually, I will go ahead and run them um, over here to the heater core on the uh, the C10. But for now, that's where they're at. Um, air box is held in by the factory bracket. It was still there. I never, never moved it. Um, this is attached by it as well, but that is it that's holding it on. So I will need to do something else. I just haven't done that yet. I don't want to drive it. So um, let's see. Fuse box factory fuse box held on by some zippers once again i will work on that i just want to be able to move it so uh, batteries in factory battery box factory washer fluid even still got the hose for it so i'll hook that up up there to uh wherever the c10 stuff is that hole right there i cut out for the factory dash harness cut it too big so it don't fit and yeah, what can you do um that right there's the factory suburban hydro boost uh had to extend this line a little bit as you can see um, just because it's a little bit higher up than what it would have been anyway. Um, you can see down there, that is the factory steering shaft, factory bolts, uh, factory U-joint. Oh, that boot right there will eventually go up there. just haven't done it yet. Um, that is the factory location for the throttle cable. I went ahead and reused that. Uh, that right there is cruise control box. It will get used, just not yet. I'll head inside here. Got the factory column in, as you guys saw last time. Tilt works. Blinkers work. Uh, wipers will work when I hook them up. Cruise control will work when I hook it up. Um, let's see. All this stuff I just got dangle me down in right now. Headlight switch works. Automatic lights work. Um, Four-wheel drive switch. And then this is fog lights, which the bumper will have fog lights in it. So that'll we'll put that to use. Got a little fuse block in there. There's some wires that tightened up in there. You can't really see much, but... Anyway, um, let's uh, let's do this. Oh, I don't have the battery hooked up, so I'll show a video of that thing right now. All right, boys and girls, all the factory wiring's in. Got uh, all my hoses connected under the hood that were gonna leak on me. Stand over here in case the airbag blows up my face. Get the key to work for me. All right. Uh, get this guy out of the way. I got the factory suburban pedals in there. Both of them and brake and throttle. Had to uh extend that one a little bit. You can you can barely see a little bit of shiny. Where's my finger at? A little bit of shiny right there. Had to extend that guy out a little bit, and then I changed uh changed the angle here just a little bit as well. But uh, that's about it. Um, the steering column, I can't really get a good picture of it, but uh, I'm gonna start making brackets for these. If any of you guys want to put one of these columns in one of these trucks, I'll, I'm gonna start making those brackets and sell them because, um, you know, you get to keep all the functionality here, um, your shifter, tow haul mode, and your ignition down there, and it's really nice to get to keep all of it. And really, it wasn't all that hard. Cut a, cut a couple holes, trim a few things, so, uh, that's about it there. Go underneath here, I haven't finished all these mounts yet, I just got a couple of them in place, I'm gonna have to drive it. 
you can see there what I got going on and the welder wouldn't reach so I couldn't reach this side of both of these um, that's why I wanted to get it to move in so I could do that but pretty much pretty simple there the uh, cab mount that's actually the suburban factory mount I just went ahead and reused that and the bolt from the C10 everything worked out pretty well so it's got uh, upgraded uh, polyurethane cab bushings now um <clears throat> Let's go look at the back here. Big ten. So this one, the bumper's gonna be a little bit taller than I want it to be, but that's okay. Not super tall, because I mean the factory one would have been right about there-ish. And I want to go down the suburban. The suburban would have bolted on right there and right there. Um, and I'll make this one do that as well. It'll be a steel replacement. And it'll have uh, backup lights in the bumper that'll be integrated in with those. So um let's see the rear mounts i haven't done yet because the welder wouldn't reach but what i'm gonna do you see this bolt here i'm just gonna make me something that either welds on here or bolts into these or something i'm not sure yet and it'll go up there big l bracket just like the other one same thing on that side have me a hole in the uh, I, probably, I might put I might put that behind a light make the light swing out or something i don't know yet anyway um let's see filler neck haven't done it yet but it's right there uh, what I did in the past, when I did my last one, oh, this is in the way now, um, I made me a little a little door right there um, in the fender well, but thinking about doing a, a little hinge thing behind this guy, you know, boop, fill it up, boop, put it back in there. Um, not real sure if I'm going to do that just yet, but we'll see. But anyway, uh, this door doesn't like to close. I need to adjust this door, but I already put the fenders on and got them all lined up. So I really didn't want to feel like adjusting the door, which doesn't look like it from here, but it's it's good at the bottom. It's a little bit high or a little bit uh, wide at the top. See if these two are lined up. So once I get the door, the door just needs to go that way a little bit. Once I get the door lined up, it'll be good to go. So there you go. A little bit of a downhill on it. Pretty slick looking truck. I'm happy with it. You can see the frame a little bit right there. I'm going to add me some step bars. You won't even see it. No big deal. So there you go. went inside to edit this video oh man i didn't realize my face was all dirty y'all didn't tell me that just went inside to edit this video and i didn't i heard the the clinkety clanking happening back here and i'm like what the heck's clanking back there all right guys well, thanks for watching that video face is still dirty i've been doing a lot of welding today uh hopefully you guys enjoyed that uh switch that c10 over to a k20 we're still going to do some more work on it but uh there'll probably be the last video on it for a little while just because i got got some other things going on here um you guys, uh, you guys stick around. We're about to have some fun on this channel. Um, I don't know if you know what that is there behind me, but we're going to get it put together and, uh, some things are going to change around here. You know, we're going to, uh, we're going to be starting some big things and, uh, some, some more big things and some even bigger things, if you will. So I won't be wearing, uh, anyone else's shirt after a little while here. So you guys stick around. Thanks.